Hey guys, welcome to part 4 of my scratch tutorial videos. In this video, we're going to be making the flying cat game as I shared on my in my scratch tutorial studio. Two words, flying cat. Yeah, so that's what we're going to be making. It's going to be awesome. Even the flying cats don't exist. Still going to be pretty cool. Now I've flown many cats in back in my day. So, uh, but this is my this is actually my first time recording, uh, and uh, as you can see by the quality of not just my scratch tutorial series but all of my videos, it's not that great. So I hope this is gonna be a bit better. And what it uh, lacks in uh, lacks in audio or video quality, it will make up in the content. I hope. So I hope you enjoy this. So we're gonna be making a simple motion script, and it's only gonna be moving up and down. Uh, oh, uh, I forgot to explain to you what it is. So it's a game uh, uh, where there's a flying cat, and there are buildings, and it has to dodge those buildings. Otherwise, it will just face plant it. So don't do that. So so every time it does that, it like loses a life. And but if you lose enough lives, then well, the game ends. So we're not gonna be making the cat move from left to right. We're gonna be making the buildings move from right to left, and it will create an illusion that the cat is flying. And the only control that the player gets is up and down. So when key up arrow pressed, change Y by ten. And uh, if key down arrow press, then change Y by minus 10. I hope you weren't hearing the laptop buzzing. So I'll, I'll be a little farther away. Okay. And in the costumes, you can see that there are like two flying cats. This one is, seems like it's moving up. So when up arrow keys pressed, we'll switch it to that. And when down arrow keys pressed, we'll switch back and initially we'll have this so that's the flying cat now we need the buildings oh before that before that we need uh, go to x 0 y 0 yeah now we can make the buildings and we're not going to be making them we're only going to be writing we're only going to be making the code Look, okay, there it is. Okay, so set the y to twenty uh, to zero, and uh, x something like one eighty. That should do. And when black click, just go to x one eighty y zero. And we just wanted to move from here to here, right? So maybe so this is gonna be a forever loop because it's gonna continuously do it, or at least until the game ends. And also, we want uh, it to keep repeating, move minus five or minus ten steps, keep doing that, keep repeating it until, say, it reaches somewhere here. And we won't be doing touching edge because for some reason that doesn't work. So forever, P until x is equal to, say, something like minus 180 x position is equal to minus 180 uh, just keep uh, changing your x right so change x by minus 10 and the buildings uh, actually have costumes here are all the costumes so just change your costume to the next costume after you're done and uh, switch costume to building A the problem with this is that it just does that. So that you go back. So go to uh, this, but not negative 180, positive 180. This is what it's going to look like. Now the problem you might have seen is that the cat is hidden behind the buildings. And that's because in Scratch there's this thing called layers. So the buildings layer is in front of the cat layer. So we're gonna go to looks, go to front layer, 
and that should fix the problem. Okay, works. But it's not really doing anything because it should like lose a life or something when it hits the building. So let's make. Uh, we're gonna do that later first. First, if touching. Touching the buildings, then just stop. Like that. But we should also have lives. So, variable, call it lives. Uh, so, just double click. Then it will become this big number format. Set lives to nine. Get it? Nine lives. If touching buildings, change lives by minus one. But the problem here is that, right? So it will keep uh, reducing the lives. So just like in the last project, wait until not touching buildings. Not touching. Oops. Not touching buildings, right? And uh, another problem. Can you believe it? So many problems. I think that's going to be becoming my catchphrase. Another problem. Yeah, that. So the game doesn't end, although it's supposed to end when the lives equal zero. So if lives is equal to zero, then just stop all. Right there. Okay. So now it should work and uh let's start with something like one because I'm impatient that's why. Like that. So that's proof that it works, right? Uh, we're gonna be choosing a nice uh, backdrop. Let's say colorful city. Okay, and another problem, can you believe it, is that the player can just do this. Whoops, not that. This. So it's just gonna stay here, and the buildings are not gonna affect it. So what we can do is have a Y and then after some time see that if the Y is the same that means that the cat has not moved that means they're probably like up there cheating so we'll just make a quick script for that forever uh, set we, we need a variable call it previous Y Previous by, we don't need to show it. Set previous by to the Y position, and then just wait three seconds. And then, if uh, previous by is equal to the current Y, uh, where's Okay, so if frames for y is equal to the current y, y position, then just stop all. So let's test it. So it should stop. Like that. But another problem, which I want you guys to like find a solution for, but I will give you a hint or something like that is that maybe coincidentally you might end up on the same Y as you did three seconds ago and still be moving so maybe you can like increase or decrease the duration or something like that or like have a list of Y's we haven't really covered lists so if you do that in your uh, 
if you do that in your project and then you put that in the studio I'll give you guys a shout out I'll give you a shout out if you, if you do that because that's pretty cool if you use a list and how are you going to use the list to store the value and then if the value is the same for a couple elements of the list then that means that they're cheating Okay. Anything else? Yeah. So. So when 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 I'm touching the what? So when I'm touching the buildings, I can't move at all. So you, the way you can change that is making the movement script different from the building script. But I want you guys to try that by yourself. And uh, now it's time for the assignment. So make a game in which an enemy is following a player, and the player has to try not to touch the enemy. Points will be based on how long the player lives, so like every one second you can add one point. You can give bonus points for near misses, so it almost touches the player. You can give bonus points for that, and you can add lives, so if it touches, it just resets their position or something like that, and lives decreases, kind of like this game and also levels so you can make it harder and you can also add that to the flying cat game the second assignment is to add a cloud in the flying cat game and if the player touches this cloud then one life is increased so that's pretty cool and if you're gonna make the game harder then you will need to add the, add, uh, the cloud because otherwise it's just too hard and now it's unplayable 